In this video, I'm going to show you how to initialize an IP camera after it's been factory defaulted or if it was received in an uninitialized state. First, I'm going to open my web browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome in this video. The IP address of a camera that has been factory defaulted or is an uninitialized is 192.168.1.108. Again, that is 192.168.1.108. That is the IP address you will need to type into the address bar to initialize an uninitialized IP camera. If you are not on a 192.168.1.1 network, then you will be unable to access the camera and you will need to relocate the camera to a 192.168.1.1 address or follow our more advanced guide in order to initialize your IP camera. This particular video is going to focus on a standard network. And again, we've typed in the IP address of 192.168.1.108 into our address bar. I'm going to hit the enter key on my keyboard to go ahead and point Google Chrome to that IP address. I'm going to be presented with the initialization screen. First it asks us to set our country and region. I'm going to set this to United States. It should automatically set the language to English and the video standard to NTSC. You will want to make sure you select your preferred language and then if you are in the United States the video standard is NTSC. If you're in Europe the video standard is PAL. Click the next button. Here are the time zone settings. I am in the eastern time zone. And then I can also sync the current time to the camera from my PC. Click next. I'm going to type in the factory default password. We recommend using the factory default password. It is a secure password. Here I am setting the recovery email address for my camera. This is our recovery email address and we'll send a security code to our email address for recovery. We recommend using our recovery email address. That way you do not use a compromised email address or an email address that is locked out or forgotten. Click next. As you can see the device initialization was confirmed. Completed. If I wanted to use the P2P mode method for remote connection, I could leave this enabled and click next. And then I want to uncheck auto check for updates as I will only ever contact the support team if I need to update my camera. And I'll click the save button. We've successfully initialized this camera and can log in using the admin user and the password we set. Again, we set the factory default password. I'm going to click the login button to log into my camera. Hopefully this video helps you initialize your IP camera. Thank you for watching.